Thank you for joining. I'm Sherry from Sunflowers and Petals. Today, we will be discussing the upcoming International Women's Day ride. If you like what you hear, be sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel. I'm excited to have with me Don Peach. Welcome, Don. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for having me. You are a very, you have a very impressive resume when it comes to cycling and most notably rondoneering. Can you share a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, well, I guess you can characterize me as a pretty inspired and passionate Midwestern gal. Um, I've always been an athlete playing basketball and softball in high school and college. And uh, in 2010, I began cycling. I uh, became a member of the Elmhurst Bicycle Club in 2012. And um, in 2015, I started to expand my cycling goals and then got into randoneering, which is a form of ultra self-supported cycling um, that has a basis in Europe. So I found my niche there. And also then probably a year or two before that fell in love with gravel. So I guess you can say I like long distance cycling and I like to do gravel rides as well. Um, I've been pretty blessed to try some pretty exciting rides and fi finishing Paris Press Paris in 2015, which is a basically long brevet uh, in France. A very long one. <laughs> yeah, it's a 12,000 kilometer event and it was, uh, it was very exciting and challenging at times, but uh, it felt good to finish. Um, and then also finished Dirty Kanza um, in 2016. So it's, it's been quite a fun ride since 2010, so. Very impressive. Well, I'd love to have you back sometime to talk more about rondoneering and what you've done. Um, but today we're gonna focus on International Women's Day. And first, why don't you tell us a little bit about what is International Women's Day? Okay. Well, International Women's Day, actually, um, it's every year on March 8th. Uh, it began in 1911. Um, this year, actually, the event is celebrating its 110th year. Um, it began in Austria, Denmark, Germany, and Switzerland. And basically, it's a global day to look at the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. So basically, it's a call to action on this day to accelerate women's equality around the world. So this is an international day. Um, what this day works to accomplish is celebrate the achievements of women around the world in all aspects of work, commerce, uh, education, health, and then raise awareness about women's equality. It also works to um, lobby for accelerated gender parity. Um, so it's a great, great day. I've actually celebrated this day for many years since I began cycling. I would cycle on this day and just think of women that have inspired me. And so it's a very significant day uh, taking away from cycling throughout the world. So it's a very exciting day. Yeah, I know a lot of corporations on uh, March 8th are, are, have things planned around it. So what events are being planned, not just on March 8th, but for the whole weekend? Yeah. Well, uh, last year was the first year of the event, and we celebrated it on uh, March 8th, which was on a Sunday, and it was a great weekend day to, to host some rides. This year, for many reasons, with the pandemic, we wanted to, and weather, we wanted to kind of expand that to make it a very flexible event. So this year, um, between Saturday, March 6th, and Monday, March 8th, which is International Women's Day, um, you basically can pedal your bike um, in honor of this day, in honor of someone that you ride for on this day. Pedaling to ensure the future of girls, that the future is bright, that it's equal, safe, and rewarding for girls around the world, for women around the world. And you don't have to be a cyclist to do this. You basically just have to get on your bike and ride your bike. Any distance, any terrain, you can ride indoors. You have a stationary bike in your garage, in your basement. You can ride that bike. Right. You can ride outside. You can ride down the down your uh, driveway. You can ride around the block. It, it's whatever you want it to be for that day. Um, we've been really blessed locally. We have some organizations hosting some events here in the greater Chicagoland region. Uh, the Elmhurst Bicycle Club is hosting some rides. In addition, Trek of Highland Park is also hosting an array of events planned. So we're very blessed 
locally to have some great organizations. I'll be hosting. <laughs> and thank you. And, and I have to say, your group last year, I think your group and a group in Colorado were the two biggest groups. So thank you for your support. You did a great job. So well, um, I'm you. excited to watch fun. those unfold. So yeah. yeah. Um, and then in addition to local ones, um, there are some groups within Randoneering USA, which is the sanctioning body in the United States for ultra cycling hosting some events. And then those that are, don't want to do a cycling event, internationalwomensday.com has other events planned for people in all different aspects of life. So many right. Well, I know you're trying to make this truly an international day of riding. And at the time of the recording, um, how many countries are participating? Well, that's a great question. I appreciate you asking because that's one of the big goals of this event is, and um, we're very excited to say that we have uh, four participants uh, from England. We have Australia being represented and we also have Puerto Rico being represented, which wasn't represented last year. In addition, we have um, eight states uh, from the United States that are being represented. So we're really, it's really starting to, to be a big event. Um, and this is just on people who have purchased some items that I can track. But again, there could be a lot more people that I'm just not able to know about, so. Well, if there's not an event planned in like someone who's watching this video in their area, how can they participate? Well, basically if you, again, just have to have a bike, uh, borrow a bike from a friend, uh, see if your local bike shop will rent you a bike for the day, uh, just ride your bike. Um, to find out, you just basically want to look at, um, to find out about the event itself, there's a few different ways. I don't know if you can see here, I just wrote. Oh, I'll post that on, on the, the YouTube okay. channel. Yep. Okay, so to find out um, basically more about the event for the day locally, um, you can go to my blog, the inspiredcyclist.wordpress.com to find out more information. We also have a public Facebook page for those of you on Facebook that tells about the event, tells about different rides that are being hosted by different people throughout the regions, internationally as well. Um, and then um, obviously the internationalwomensday.com also has more information about uh, my event and other events out there, so. Great. And you have an awesome logo this year. <laughs> I know you've put a lot of work around that. Are you selling any swag to commemorate the event? Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate that. I, I do have, I'll share some examples. I've been blessed to partner with two great organizations. Um, the graphic designer is um, uh, Umbrella Works and um, Doug has been great. He actually helped me develop the brand last year. So I continued with him. And then uh, Falls Creek Outfitters out of Falls Creek, uh, Pennsylvania actually is developing the patches. So I do have some great uh, swag to share with you. Um, the first thing that we have to share is we have a buff, uh, which is actually has the colors. This year, the color scheme is purple. It's got a little bit of green and it's got uh, a little That's bit of nice. like teal blue and it has the words hope, respect, equality and perseverance on it. Um, that is actually for sale for $20 each. We also have a patch, um, and I apologize, uh, patches I'm just waiting for, but here's just a, a picture of the patch. It's obviously much larger, but it's the same color scheme um, with the, the date and the title of the ride. Uh, the patch is $10. And then we also have stickers available for purchase for $3. And this is actually a pretty good example of the patch, the size and everything. It's about little less than three inches by three inches. So yeah, I have last year's on a sweatshirt, so I want to add a second one. Well, thank you. Yes, thank you. it's it's uh, they turned out really nice. I'm I'm really um, happy with the workmanship from both the graphic designer and the uh, producer of the patch. So it's been. And tell us about the empowerment package. Oh, and so we we wanted to make things a little different, and we wanted to actually put together a package so you can people can purchase if they select a buff by itself, a patch or a sticker, or we've put together an empowerment package, which includes the buff, patch and sticker for $30. Um, sh that includes shipping in the United States and then any international shipping is just a $3 surcharge just for shipping. But that's the empowerment package and it has special powers I've heard. <laughs> it can make you go faster on your bike or do many things, so. 
or and keep us power. warm during the, our winter rides here. Yes, <laughs> yes. The buff is very nice. And the nice thing about this, it's not just a buff. You can use it for a headband. You can use it for a wristband. It's, you can use it in many different nice ways. So yes. it's very nice. It's a very nice piece. Of, it's a nice resourceful piece of gear. Yes, absolutely. Well, Don, thank you so much for your time. And I'm really excited again to host a ride this year in the uh, Chicagoland area. And it's wonderful to see the International Women's Day ride grow year over year. So thank you so much. Well, thank you, Sherry. I, I want to you know, commend you. I appreciate everything you've done uh, for ag advocacy of women. I appreciate it. And working with you and the other people in the Chicago area and throughout the United States and internationally, it's been really exciting. I think you know, my thoughts are you know, think globally, but act locally. Um, bike, bike locally, make everyday International Women's Day. I kind of you know, think of certain people or quotes that stick out in my mind. And one of the ones, and I, I think of it all the time on this day, on International Women's Day, is Gloria Steinem, who is a well-known activist said, the story of women's struggle for equality belongs to no single feminist, not to any one organization, but to the collective efforts of all who care about human rights. And that's basically what this day is about. It's about human rights for all. It's, it's about women, but it's about men who support women and everyone out there. So thank you for this opportunity to share with your group and your organization what I'm doing with International Women's Day. So thank you. Well, thank you. You're doing a great job. I appreciate it. So thanks for watching another Sunflowers and Petals video. If you enjoyed the video, click the like button and make sure to subscribe and enjoy the ride. <laughs>